Hi, I'm Rob, and I am your Microsoft Enterprise Architect covering everything Microsoft. And today I want to really take on a big Microsoft challenge that I'm, if, if you haven't been experiencing, you will in the future, but most of, most of us had. And this issue is around the Microsoft multi-factor authentication, which it's a really good thing. You get it going, you keep your whole environment secure and you want to you wanna have that in your infrastructure. But when you're small and you're a small shop of anywhere from five to 10 people, it could become a little frustrating, right? Because really not having a technical staff or the team or someone to educate like how to use this or uh, an admin person that could manage whenever you need to you need your authenticator reset for like wonky challenges or switching out your new iPhone or Android phone and not, for, and not knowing how to back up your authenticator data and then uploading it into your new one pretty common issue and then you're gonna run into some authentication challenges and then it just becomes su super frustrating and one of the things you want to do is just turn it off and wherein lies the biggest challenge and problem you'll start to go through multi youtube videos where people are going to show you how to shut off this authenticator um, app and capability and it just doesn't work you know, first day it, it'll be off and then all of a sudden to your surprise it's still functioning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you exactly, precisely, really quickly, how to completely shut this off. There's one main place that it needs to be shut off. Shut off. And then once it's off, I'm gonna show you how to reset or, 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 or ultimately remove the authenticator at right here on the actual um, um, admin section. And then, and those are for issues where it's uh, authenticator is already pre-set up. It's already turned off. Any new users are coming off, uh, coming onto the platform. Everything is good. But then all of a sudden, the existing user, it's, the authenticator is still working. So I actually had that problem. So I have a really good full cycle use case. So without further ado, let's jump into this. All right. So the very first thing is, remember, this is under Microsoft Encarta, right? So uh, Intra, excuse me, Intra. And Intra basically is managing everything. Um, now you can see here, this is a really, really good video. Um, I would recommend where I didn't want to redo this. So you, you could pretty much see here, Microsoft did a really good job of just explaining, you know, you're logging in and then boom, you get this. And then, oh, I got to set this up and then install Microsoft Authenticator on my phone. Boom, I scan it with my phone. All right, I'm good to go. I install the app. Everything is looking good. I hit next. I hit accept. You know, I got my QR our, our code and I'm just, you know, things are, are, are working, right? Then I got to do the 63 and I got, I got the setup and I got the code and, and that, that, that could be a little daunting, right? Um, and every time I log in, it's going to ping me, Hey, I need to make sure I got that code, but if I don't have my phone, this is beginning an issue. And this is where a lot of people are going to come into some, some concerns and get a little frustrated. So this is a good video. This is going to share this in the description. So check this out, you know, going through the steps of just getting yourself set up, what you're going to go through to that process. But once it's set up and you need to cut off, that's where the challenge is. So when you first log in, first you're going to go to use your admin. And as you go to your admin, you end up over here and you remember to um, um, I'll say you know, like show all. I don't have that button here. Um, and then now I'm in here, right? I definitely want to go to the, to the uh, admin center section. And basically here is I want to talk about, um, let me click on my active users, right? So let's go to my users, active users. We'll talk about like multi-factor uh, authentication. Now this is, I got a user. It's going to say it's going to be, you know, me. I'm in this account, I'm accessing, everything is good, and I'm noticing I need to shut this off, right? So um, I'm gonna log, I'm gonna click here. It'll trigger this to pop up, but you'll see it's popping up again. I have it pop it up again. And you're gonna see it's enabled, right? So the way that this, the way this simple thing is, I can click enforce and it'll be enforced. I can disable, but that's the one thing I wanna do. I wanna disable this, right? So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna click disable, I'm gonna yes, and update successful. So now I disabled it for myself. Um, I'll, I'll talk about it at the end, I'll, you know, work around wherever I try to disable, it's not disabled, or I disabled it and it's still triggering, it, right? So there's just a little thing, you little cycling you're gonna do here, typical thing with Microsoft. So I'm done, that's done. Let's get to the hard part. And let's get to the one thing, again, 
nobody is showing you. You're asked these questions. It's a little frustrating. You're like, hey, like I need to get done Carta and things are just not working, right? So first thing you want to do is go click here, all admin center, boom, it's going to take you here. You can click Carta. And Carta is going to take you, I'm going to click out one of these to um, this page, right? So I'll click on it again. Um, I'll click on Carta, open it up. It's going to log into, and I keep seeing saying Carta, excuse me, Intra. Intra is going to log in. And look, it's already triggering me to, hey, enforce this authenticator. And this could drive you crazy, right? So I'm like, I'll hit next. I had it turned off here. That's why it wasn't popping up on this side. I can still work out this, but it's still logging me in. All right. So now I'm in. This is where it's going to get tricky. This is a little funny. Again, this is one thing you're not going to hear. And this is the most simplest, easiest spot. You go to overview, right? Once you get into overview, the first thing you want to do is click on properties. Okay. Again, overview, click on properties. This is the like the simplest thing. And you could be here for two hours trying to find getting the properties. And then you want to go down to security defaults. Security defaults is where this thing will trigger it every time after you cut it off at every prime price. And if you forget to cut it off here, it's going to trigger it. Microsoft doesn't like this to be cut off. That's why I feel like it's hidden. And you can see here, boom, your organization is protected by security defaults. Manage security defaults. I go here, enabled, disabled. Now it's going to ask me, why are you cutting this off? And you definitely want to say, come up with any reason. Okay, um, I hate this, right? I'm going to say that. Don't say that. You can say just too many. I'm going to hit disable. And voila, that easy. You've literally cut off one of the most annoying things. So now any new user that I'm creating in this platform, right? Um, if I go back to my uh, all my users, let me go back over here, active users. So any active user I'm creating in this, this environment, that's not gonna trigger that default. So where you saw that pop-up um, come, that was a clear example of it telling you, hey, this security default is gonna kick off and it's gonna drive. Now I'm gonna show you a few more other things. Um, the next thing is I wanna go to uh, let's talk about um, uh, overview uh, properties, right? So I'm going to go here to authentication methods. So protection, that's case of meshes, methods come in here. You're going to look at the policies. I'm going to click on this, right? And and usually this is enabled, right? But I'll come in here and I disabled it. You just want to make sure it's disabled. And then you hit save. And I'll, let's, say I, let's say I, I enable it. I disabled it. Hit save. And it takes you back here. And there's two other spots. Again, this is so easy. I've made this super easy. I go back to um, here. Uh, I'll say password protection. And you could see, well, I got mine cut off. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Registration. Not password protection. We're in the wrong spot. Go to registration. You can see here that if I click edit, this is Microsoft Manage, right? So this is my registration campaign. I want to cut this off. I'm going to see here, hey, disabled. Right? And then I'm gonna hit save. Boom. That is off. Right? Cut it off right there. Um, I'm gonna go right here to settings and I'm starting to see the same thing. System preferred multi-factor authentication. Oh my God. Again, I'm gonna click here. Microsoft manage. No, I do not want you to manage. I manage this. I'm gonna disabled and I'm gonna hit save. And voila, done, right? So I just showed you um, these small areas where you're going to go through and cut off this multi-factor authentication. But I showed you the most, I'm going to go back, I'm show you the most important spot is overview, properties, and manage security default. Now, just a little, before I end, one of the things I do want to talk about this this can be a little frustrating because Microsoft some hates cutting this off. And then what they'll do is they'll update this platform. And in these updates, they'll trigger this thing to come back on. And you'll notice it because when you're logging in, you start running into these, hey, what's going on? Like I'm having, I'm having these, 
the same the same screen came back, right? So you're going to have the same screen. It's going to come back. It's going to feel like it's just haunting you. And this is a great opportunity to just come here and, and reference my video, to get to the point, to solve this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Rob, he walked me through how to get here. I remember I go to properties and there was somewhere. Oh, manage security, boom, and cut that off. So I really wanted to give you a really quick tip to help you with one super frustrating thing of having this thing cut on. So let's recap. Today we went over and we just covered how to cut off multi-factor authenticator um, at the security defaults level. Then I went and showed you how to um, uh, shut off the the uh, uh, go to protection authentication methods and then uh, shut off the um, uh, Microsoft Manage and settings and then shut it off in the registration campaign. So we were able to fully shut off Microsoft Authenticator. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I hope you got a lot of a value out of this and I hope this is really helping you to be super uh, efficient and effective. Uh, look forward to you in other videos and thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye. Mm -hmm.